I welcome you, brothers and sisters, everyone connected on the, the platform, Zoom, uh, Facebook, everywhere, wherever you're joining from. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, we want to thank God specially today. The year 2020 has been a very eventful year. And so we want to thank God. Hallelujah. The way we're going to run, we will read a number of scriptures and we'll make a few points and then we will take your own reflection to thank God for this year, 2020. And we will go on thanking God till we close. Hallelujah. Psalm 100 verse 4, our text. Let us read it together, those who have their uh, lines open, and everyone, you can actually open your line. Let us read it. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. I added verse 5. Amen. Amen. Let's take that verse 4 only again, and then we will read the whole Psalm 100, uh, which has five verses. Let's take that verse 4 again. Let's go. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless um, his yes. name. If there is one man that understands the secret of thanksgiving, it is David. And David wrote this psalm of thanksgiving for us. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Why? Why should we be thankful to God and bless his name? Verse 5 gives us the answer. He said, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want us to come to this place where you know that our God is good. Like the Bible says, in all things, in everything, give him thanks. That's First Thessalonians chapter 5. We will go there. In everything, give him thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. When you know that God is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations, then you know that we should continually dwell in thanksgiving because whatever God has said concerning you will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree over your life that in this month of December, the Almighty God opens the gates of joy for you and your entire family the Almighty God opens the gates of joy for us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's read the whole of Psalm 100 now and read it in a form of thanksgiving to God. Let us go. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us. And not we ourselves. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. Verse 4, our text. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. 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 Beloved, let us now reflect upon the year 2020. 
This year has been a great year. When you think about this year and all that God has done for us, taken us through in this year, then you will understand how David praised God in Psalm 124. And I want us to go to Psalm 124 and praise God now. If you don't have your Bible, then just recite it after me. You will appreciate God more this year. I just want us to go through this so that when it's time for you to reflect and praise God, every one of us here, and give God thanks, you'll be able to reflect appropriately and give God thanks. Psalm 124, let's go. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, and now I put yourself there, if it had not been the Lord who was on my side, oh, let God win. Now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on my side, on the side of my family, on the side of the children of God who are connected here, when men rose up against us, when situations, challenges came against us in the year 2020, now verse 3, let us go. Then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. The snare of 2020 has been broken and we have escaped and we have come to the end of the year 2020, the last month of the year 2020. Let us read verse 8, the last verse of Psalm 124. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. All oh, glory be to our God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, I want you to reflect over this year, 2020, and see the great things the Lord has done in your life. Often when people go through a year like this, sometimes they forget the goodness of God. They meet the manifold blessings of God. So, I want to remind us, brethren, that it is good to thank God. It is good to thank God. Thanksgiving to God is our expression of gratitude to Him. By thanking and praising Him, we demonstrate our appreciation of his goodness, mercies, faithfulness, help, power, and uncountable blessings in our lives and families. A thankful heart gets more blessings from God. A thankful heart gets more blessings from God. You must know this secret. And that's why David taught us in that Psalm 100, and said, be thankful and praise him. Be thankful and praise him. It says, be thankful to him and bless his name. Praise the Lord. So let us just look at a few examples of people who understood the power of thanksgiving and they thank God. Before that, I believe every one of us is familiar with Psalm 22 verse 3. I, will, I prefer to read the King James Version. It says, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. So simply put, 
When we praise God and thank God, God inhabits our praise. Hallelujah. And so we should learn to thank God all the time. So I made the point again that a thankful heart gets more blessings from God. A thankful heart gets more blessings from God. So very quickly, let's look at that in Luke chapter 17. I read very quickly verses 11 through 19. It's a long read, but I'll read it very fast. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Verse 12. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Verse 14. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priest. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was cleansed, he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God, verse 16, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Look at verse 17. So Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God, except this foreigner? Oh, so there were ten. Nine of them were those who ought to know how to give thanks to God. And one was a Samaritan. And yet the Samaritan who thanked God, who, was, who had a grateful heart, a heart of gratitude, returned to give God thanks. And he said this one was a stranger. How, were, how about the other people who were children or supposed to be children of God, people from the chosen race of Israel. They didn't return to give God thanks. And Jesus Christ said, were there not 10 cleansed, but where are the nine? May God not ask where are the nine in your case and in your family in this year, 2020. And that's why God has given us this platform and this opportunity that we will come together and give him thanks. And everyone, as we will share this video, who will join to thank God, I decree over your life that thanksgiving and praises will continually overflow in your life, in your fa and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. We continue to read from verse 19. This is Jesus speaking. And he said to him, arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Thanksgiving, thanksgiving brings more blessing. A thankful heart gets more blessings from God. So we see here in verse 19, 10 of them were healed. One of them returned to give thanks to God. And in verse 19, Jesus Christ said, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. So here again, when we are thanking God, we are expressing our faith in him. We are also telling him that you are our only source and we are grateful to you. And so let us at this moment look deep. Think over the year 2020. What is that thanksgiving that you want to offer to God? Hallelujah. Just to further challenge us, let, me, let us look at the example in Exodus chapter 15, uh, verses 1 to 7. I will not be able to read all because of uh, time. I will just take a few uh, examples. And you remember what happens in Exodus chapter 14. In Exodus chapter 14, God manifested greatly and helped the children of Israel. Uh, in fact, let me just give us uh, verses 26 and 27 so we remember. This is why the children of Israel were about to cross the Red Sea. And Pharaoh and his army pursued after them to destroy them. Verse 26, then the Lord said to Moses, strike out your hand over the sea that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, on their chariots and on their horsemen. Verse 27, and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea 
And when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its full depth while the Egyptians were fleeing into it. So the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Oh, how many Egyptians has the Lord overthrown in your life? How many Egyptians, how many situations that looked helpless and hopeless has the Lord overthrew in the year 2020 in your life? There have been many. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Verse 30 and 31. So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore as you have seen the year 2020. Coronavirus plagued all over the world and God saw you through. The Lord kept us just as he spoke to us. He said this year he will do a thing that fear and panic will grip humanity so that he will demonstrate to mankind that he is in charge. But for his own children, he will protect us, he will keep us, that indeed he will make this year a year of joy, a year of great enlightenment for us. There were three key things. And then the third thing, the Lord said this year, he will draw his people out from the synagogue of Satan that is camouflaging as the church of Jesus Christ all over the world. And he will expose the deceit of men because he is drawing his own for the final moment. Beloved, have we not seen this goodness of God? This is why we have to reflect and we want to thank God. Because of this great work that the Lord did, the Bible says in verse 15 from verse 1, Then Moses and the children of Israel sang the song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I hope you will sing the song now once we get into this moment to give everybody a chance to reflect. Just take two minutes and reflect and say and give your own thanksgiving. And then we'll join our voices together and thank God. Then Moses and the children of Israel, seeing this great work of God, sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I'm reading uh, Exodus chapter 15 for those who just join us. Verse 1, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Oh, let us sing to the Lord. The Lord has given us victory over all challenges in the year 2020. I continue in verse 2. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. Verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. Hallelujah. The Lord has been our man of war. Glory be to God. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. And you remember when we talk about the Lord, when God introduces himself as the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, the one that does not need permission from any man, does not need permission from spirits to intervene on your behalf. The Lord is his name. Hallelujah. The Lord came as the Lord unto the children of Israel and against the enemies of the children of Israel. Verse 4. Pharaoh's Carol and his army he has cast into the sea. His chosen captains also drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. I decree and declare over you and your family, over my life and my entire family, for the remaining days of the year 2020, any enemy that decides to attack you is perishing right now. Is being drowned by the Spirit of God, by the power of God, in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God will reenact for you and your family, will reenact for us and our families. All that the Lord did for the children of Israel, for Moses and the children of, of Israel, or uh, at the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus, you are crossing over into year 2021. And hear me, even before it comes, the year 2021 is not going to be any easier. So hear me, you will need the grace of God even much more in the year 2021. It's going to be a tough year. It's going to be a very tricky year. And the Lord, the man of war, will fight for you and your family, even as we give him thanks and praise this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory be to God. Verse 6. 
Your right hand, O oh Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O oh Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. Your right hand has dashed the enemy of your people, all oh, your children who are connected here. Your right hand, O oh God, has dashed our enemies in pieces. In the name of Jesus, verse 7, and in the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You stand for your rock, it consumed them like stubble. Oh, glory be to God. I want to pause here and I want to encourage you, please, read Exodus chapter 15 for yourself and just give God thanks the way I have done now. If you're connected on this platform, glory be to God. So we want to pause there and allow everyone to take a reflection of thanksgiving for this year, 2020, for the goodness of the Lord. Um, but before you do that, please jump with me to verse 20 and see, after Moses prayed this prayer uh, of thanksgiving to the Lord, Miriam was inspired. Look at verse 20. Then Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, and of course of Moses as well, took the timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. Verse 21, and Miriam answered them, sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. That is your portion in this year 2020 for the remaining days of the year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will remain your portion in the year 2021. And it will remain your portion all the days of your life as you continue to serve the Lord God. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to God in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, now your own reflection. Please, who wants to go first? Open the line and just give God thanks. You have, please, two minutes max. Okay, brother, listen, please go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a family, Exodus 15 is actually our testimony. Because we have, passed, we have passed through so much. Pastor, you know some of them. We have passed so through so much that if not for this God, I and my family would have been drenched in shame and reproach. But God has overthrown the Egyptians for us. Amen. We we'll give God thanks. So next person. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I just want to thank God for um, a great year. Yes, it's been quite challenging, just like every other person, but I think the year has presented me quite a, a learning, a lot of learning opportunities that um, somehow it just turns out that the whole COVID situation uh, became, it, it turned out for my good because some of the things that I've had to learn, some of the um, information that I've had to, you know, gotten access to, on a normal day, I would never, nothing would have uh, caught my attention or pulled me in that direction. So, and I have God alone and God to thank for all of that that uh, is made possible for me this year. That's my Thanksgiving story. Next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Amoni, um, you're welcome. Glad to have you here. Please go ahead. Okay, so so Pastor and uh, brethren, uh, for me, I just want to thank the Lord God Almighty um, that we are alive. Myself, my wife, my kids, my mom, my siblings, my friends, my colleagues. Um, this COVID, I think, um, we do not take it for granted. A lot of people have gone, uh, but we have stayed alive just because of the mercy of God. And I think that's the greatest of all, that we're alive. Every other thing is secondary, because if not for him, 
we will not be alive. It is only those that are living, that have breath, that can give thanks to God. And so I want to appreciate God Almighty. Thank you very much. Thank God with you, your family, and everyone here. Next person, please. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The family of God. I want you Amazing. to join me and praise the Lord with me. Praise Jehovah for his mercy. Thank God, Mark. For his love for me and my can, family can, can. is abundant. I cannot count them all. Please join me and read Psalms 116. It says, I love Jehovah because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. Hallelujah. God. Upon all the stresses, upon all the storms, upon all the winds that came to me and my family, God stood as a mighty man of war. And he pushed them down like he did to Pharaoh. And like Dara said, the COVID, instead of me being afraid, God gave me confidence beyond my, beyond normal. He, he gives me joy. Rather than feel worried about what will happen, day by day, my joy keeps on increasing. Instead of me fearing what will be the outcome, my hope in God become ever, ever stronger. So that is why I joined that David to say, I will keep on rejoicing in God as long as I live because of his power, because of his love for me and my family. So let's praise Amen. God with me. Amen. Thank you. We'll take two more and then we'll join corporately to thank God because we really want to thank God uh, in a very unique way. This year, ah, we need to thank God. Two more, two more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for keeping me in good health and also keeping me alive to see this day. I also want to thank God for just helping me and leading me through the year 2020 and helping me with my academics. Praise the Lord. Praise be the Lord. Thank you, very prompt. We want to thank God, brethren. It is worth thanking God. Anyone who bring the line again? Okay. So open your Bible with me to Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. That's where we want to start our thanksgiving to God. We want to thank God for his faithfulness. Beloved, remember this, that God is faithful. Just like the psalmist said in that Psalm 100, he says his mercy endures forever. His mercies and yours forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11, he said, Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him was called faithful and true. Faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. You see, when we have understanding of scriptures or you have a cardinal scripture that you put your faith and base your faith on, it, it, one, it inspires you, two, you actually uh, see uh, the manifestation of God because God is faithful to perform his word. So connect this back to that Psalm 100 verse 4. He says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Then verse 5 says that his mercy endures forever 
and his faithfulness to all generations. Here the scripture tells us that our God is faithful. So no matter what happened in the year 2020, some of us may have been shaken at one time or the other. The whole world was shaken anyway, but by the faithfulness of God who said, I will keep my own. He has kept you and me. He has kept your family. And so raise your voice now with me and let us thank God and say, Father God, I thank you for your faithfulness over my life over my family, go ahead and thank God. You can open the line if uh, possible and just thank God. Maybe a few of us so we can uh, connect. Thank God, thank God. Father God, I thank you for your faithfulness. Oh God, I thank you for your faithfulness over my life and over my family. I thank God for your faithfulness, be specific, over my wife, over my son, over my daughter, over my children. I thank God, Lord, for your faithfulness. Go ahead and thank God for his faithfulness. God is faithful. Our God, we have seen your faithfulness and we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your faithfulness, our God. Thank you, our God. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Brethren, this is our focus of thanksgiving today. Just like our brother Amoni said, if it were not for God, we would not be here to, do, to, to gather together. It is because our God is faithful and we want to thank him especially for his faithfulness. There are many other blessings the Lord has performed and perfected in our lives in this year, 2020, but all because he is faithful. So I want us now again to thank God for his faithfulness over his uh, the body of Christ over you and I who are connected here. Let us thank God. Thank God for all the brethren who are, who are connected here and all our families and thank God for the body, his faithfulness over his uh, church, the body of Christ. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Brethren, you remember what happened. Churches couldn't, couldn't gather. Just like uh, many people testified and said, the COVID has opened another way. That's why we are even able to connect online like this, because the churches couldn't gather. But God has prevailed. Go ahead and thank our God, who has prevailed over the lives of every brethren that is connected online here and over the families of the children of God oh, and over the church of God. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for your faithfulness, faithfulness to your word. You said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Lord, you have indeed performed your faithfulness. You have kept your church in this year, 2020. Despite all that happened, despite the lockdown, despite the shutdown, despite the closure here and there, God, you have kept your church growing. You have kept your church going. You have kept the body of Christ enlarging. We thank you, our God, for your faithfulness. Faithfulness over us as your body. Faithfulness over all your elect all over the world. We thank you, our God, for your faithfulness. Receive all praise. Receive all glory. We thank you for the body of Christ all over the world. Your church that you have built. We thank you, almighty God, for your faithfulness over every brother, every sister, over the, our families. Lord, we thank you. To you be all glory. Thank you for building your church. Thank you for increasing and enlarging your church, enlarging your kingdom all over the world. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Brethren, we are going to thank God now, and please enlarge this thanksgiving to every situation that you can thank God because of God's faithfulness. As I said at the beginning, God spoke clearly about this year to many of his children. We are uh, uh, one of the groups that we shared the message of God, how things were going to be tough this year. And again, as you have heard that 2021 is not going to be any easier. But the Lord said he will sustain his people. 
he will demonstrate that he is God and he will take glory unto himself. Let us thank God who has kept the nations of the earth. Despite the panic and fear that came upon the whole world, God has kept the nations of the earth. He has made it possible for us to continue. Let us give God thanks. Go ahead and give God thanks. Thank God for your own father's house, your own mother's uh, lineage. Thank God for your own community, your village. And let us bring this thanksgiving to our nation, Nigeria. And thank God who has kept our nation, Nigeria. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, our Father, who has kept our nation, Nigeria. We thank you, Almighty God, who has kept the nations of the earth, who has demonstrated your power throughout the year, despite that which has happened throughout the year 2020. The fear and panic that came over the world, Lord, yet you have made a way. Oh, there was a, a prediction that Africa will be wiped out. There was a, a, a concern that Nigerians would die in their numbers. But God, you have shown yourself that you are God. You are the one who makes the token uh, of men lies. You frustrate the token of liars. You frustrate every evil plans and plots of men when you prevail. You have been the one who has kept Nigeria. You have been the one who has kept Africa. You have been the one who has helped the people who have no strength of their own. Lord, we return all praise and thanks to you for your faithfulness. We thank you, our God, who has been with us. Oh, if it were not the Lord who has been with us. Hey, let the people of God say, if it were not the Lord who has been with us, we would have been consumed. And now, Lord, you have caused us to escape the snare. You have caused us to uh, 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 prevail on our behalf, and we are here alive. We say all glory, all honor, all power, all majesty, all thanksgiving be to you, the Lord our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. I want us to read that Psalm 124 again together. Psalm 124. And please put your name there, Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who, who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now put your name. Let Godwin now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, when challenges of year 2020 rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to our God forever. In Jesus' name, amen. And so our Lord and our God will return all glory to you. Thank you for all your children who have connected here today. Heavenly Father, let your spirit be poured out upon all of us. Specifically, Lord, I've given your children your word. The victory that Moses and the children of Israel celebrated in Exodus chapter 14 and 15. I ask that throughout this month and for the rest of their life, as they continue to give you thanks, and praise, Lord, let thanksgiving and the gates of joy be open unto them, overflow in their lives. In this month of December, Father God, surprise every one of us continually with your joy, with your praises, with your thanksgiving, and let all glory continue to be yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, brothers and sisters, and keep you and your family safe. Fear not. Continue to thank God and praise God. 
Remember that a thankful heart gets more blessings from God. God bless you.